widespread health problems, dizziness, trouble breathing, headaches, nosebleeds, all impacts that some say they continue to suffer to this day. Now, some people evacuated for a short time when it was happening. Others eventually moved away permanently. This settlement, attorneys say, will pay them for what they went through. It took six years of intense litigation, but along the way also led to changes in the industry. The lead attorney for the plaintiffs summarized its impact this way. The only way that SEMPRA or any other utility understands anything is in the pocketbook. And this is about holding them accountable. Changes have finally been made by the PUC, the Public Utilities Commission, for more safety. It was determined that this well had failed, had no regular maintenance program. Because of those failures, these people suffer. Now, we spoke to two of the residents who lived through this, and their reaction was actually pretty restrained, if not skeptical. That's the least they could do, I would say. I mean, that's great news that they, they have done that, but, uh, you know, after so many years and so much suffering and, you know, people being hurt and, you know, and we still don't know what the future is going to be like with all the things that we went through through that time. I never thought this would actually be solved, so I'm actually shocked to hear this today, so it's good news. We'll see. Now, SoCal Gas released a statement which reads in part, these agreements are an important milestone that will help the community and our company work toward putting this difficult chapter behind us. As for how that $1.8 billion will be handed out, today the attorney said that two retired judges will be reviewing all of the cases to determine how much each uh, claimant will get. They expect that work to begin in about four months and then distribution of the money to start in about a year. We are live in downtown Los Angeles. I'm Lori Paris. All right, thank you, Lori. Uh, remarkable news there. And